Welcome everyone. I'd like to call tonight's regular meeting to order. Recommendation that the agenda for the regular council meeting of September 4th, 2018 be adopted as presented. Moved by Councillor Cunningham, second by Councillor Nish. All those in favor? Motion is carried. 3A, recommendation that the minutes of the regular council meeting of August 20th, 2018 be adopted. Moved by Councillor Randhawa, seconded by Councillor Cunningham. All those in favor? Any opposed? Motion is carried. Item 3B, recommendation of the minutes of the Committee of the Whole Meeting of August 20th, 2018 be accepted. Moved by Councillor Nish, second by Councillor Cunningham. All those in favor? Any opposed? Motion is carried. Item 3C, recommendation of the minutes of the Special Council Meeting of August 20th, 2018 be adopted. Moved by Councillor Renhawa, second by Councillor Nish. All those in favor? Any opposed? Motion is carried. Okay, first up, we have a report from our City Planner regarding the application for development variance permit at Schwatlands Road. Welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> uh, the subject property is located uh, at the end of Shawatland Road, um, beginning of Kane Road on one side and on the other side by Highway 16. The proposed structure or the, uh, the development variance is to amend the, the ver to vary the uh, maximum height of accessory building. Now this is a promotional material which was included in the application. Uh, so the total building height would be approximately 30 feet. The current um, accessory building um, Maximum height is 11.8 feet, which is approximately here, for the maximum of, of 5.5 5, uh, meters, or 18 feet. Uh, the applicant supplied the site plan. Uh, this is the proposed salt shed. It will be tight against the highway right-of-way. Um, in considering this, this structure anywhere on the site, it would have similar effect on the surrounding properties. However, as it's so close to the highway, I have asked uh, the applicant to provide a survey of the elevation for where the proposed site will be located and elevation of the highway at that location, which I will then refer to the Ministry of Highways to ascertain if it will be any effect on the drivers as they were entering this gentle curve. Our estimates <coughs> are that uh, the, the top of the roof would be approximately, or would be anywhere between two and four meters above the top of the bank of the highway. Uh, <coughs> considering that this is an industrial area, this is within the context of analysis, Mr. Mayor, considering this is an industrial area, this kind of a structure uh, will probably not have uh, any great effect on surrounding properties and in fact it may even benefit by eliminating uh, various sheds uh, into a neatly trimmed building. Uh, this application requires approval to proceed to public notification. And this concludes my report. Thank you. Any comments from Council? Moved by Councillor Nish uh, that the development variance application number DP1809 for the property located on Schwartlands Road, O'Brien's Maintenance Yard, proceeds to public notification. Second by Councillor Cunningham. Comments? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. So they will remove all the sheds there? So this shed is gone. This this is the main main building, which is going to stay. Uh, there were a number Your of microphone, sorry. Right. This is the main building which is going to stay. This shed is going to be replaced with a new, with a new, uh, with a new um, structure. And this, by the way, is for the salt shed for the highways maintenance. Okay. Councillor Kenyon? So the Department of Highways has no problem with this at all? Well, they're two, diff they're two different Microphone, arms. sorry. They're two different arms, uh, Councillor Cunningham. So I still have to refer it to the Ministry of Highways Engineering Department. The maintenance is, is a component that doesn't affect the, the referral itself. 
You know, as far as I, I was out there today and looked at it, as far as that bank goes, even if it is you know three to four meters above the bank, those alder trees along that bank are going to most of the year hide the structure anyway. Okay, all those in favor? Any opposed? Motion's carried. Thank you. Mr. Barry, you read out a closed meeting uh, item from uh, our previous meeting. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. On August 20th, 2018, at Council's closed meeting, the following resolution in regard to Prince Rupert Library appointments was made. Moved by Mayor Brain and seconded by Councillor Rondawa that, that Council reappoint Andrea Wilmot, Devlin Fernandez, and Dale White for another two-year term on the Board of Directors and that Council release the resolution at a future regular meeting of Council that was carried. Thank you. Okay, moving on to uh, business arising from our previous council meeting. Um, it's a uh, letter to direct uh, staff to write a letter to the federal government to oppose the sale of Ridley uh, Terminals, Inc. Uh, Councillor Thorkelson, unfortunately, is not able to join us tonight, uh, but I thought perhaps any other councillors who have any thoughts around this this motion that's uh, presented. Councillor Nish. Um, so the the only thing that uh, you know maybe we could word into this letter would be something um, not so much that we're I mean we are opposed to the sale for the most part but but um, you know there could be a possibility of supporting it if it, if it was maybe through a local ownership group or or um, you know maybe a Canadian company of some sort but but uh, in general to oppose the sale. I, I tend to agree with Councillor Nice there. I think uh, what we should do is put in uh, something to say that as long as it remains in Canadian hands. Okay, any other comments? Yeah, I mean, I agree with that, but uh, uh, regionally I like to the way it's happening right now. I, I, I'm not in favor of uh, selling it, but if it's in case in future sell, it should be staying local or Canadian. Right. Okay, so perhaps a resolution could look like uh, that council directs staff to write a letter to the federal government opposing the sale of Ridley Island uh, with a, an exception that if uh, the sale goes to local ownership, for example, say if local First Nations are interested in purchasing it or a Canadian company that's interested in remaining committed to the Canadian economy, that type of wording. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll put maybe that forward. Does anybody want to make that motion? Okay, so moved by Councillor Nish, second by Councillor Cunningham then. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Any opposed? Motion's carried. Okay, any reports from members of council? Just one question. Uh, last council meeting I asked about a resolution that was passed on February 26 about uh, different societies that are funded by the city coming forth and uh, nothing had been done since then and it's six months later for Committee of the Whole meetings and I just wondered that was a, more of a resolution to because some people were wondering where some of our funds go and so from a transparency point of view I thought it would be nice if people like the Airport Society and different societies came forth and did a, a short presentation and I noticed nothing's been done about it and you had mentioned that you'd look into it yeah, after talking to administration, um, what we'll do is we're going to plan, when we do the 2019 schedule, the council schedule, we're going to schedule in uh, those presentations as part of that resolution so that it's uh, booked for the year in advance so that everyone knows when they're going to come. So how it uh, didn't happen right off the bat, I'm not sure. We're busy with Watson and those type of things, but now that uh, those things are complete, we'll make sure that in the 2019 council release schedule that those presentations will be scheduled for the committee of the holes. Okay, as long as the new incoming council has the same uh, desire to find out what's going on, I think it's a good idea. Thank you. Okay, any other reports? Okay, motion to adjourn. Moved by Councillor Niche, seconded by Councillor Cunningham. All those in favour? Meetings adjourned. Have a great evening.